my mother's Lancastrian mm -hmm. and my grandma Lancastrian. Mm -hmm. So this is a bit of so heritage. So am I. Exactly. A bit of heritage here, so I've got to be slightly careful. Now, Holly, mm -hmm. it should be with... Lamb. Have we done the dish? Let's Here have is. a look at it. There it is. This is the finished dish. Oh, it looks so beautiful. look at that. So potatoes are really important on this. But it should be with neck end of lamb. Right. Now, <laughs> we, we just agree on this, but when you braise neck of lamb, you get a lovely piece of meat. We also get lots of collagen. I can't be doing that And you get that lovely, thing. almost like gravy, a thickened gravy from it. I mean, that sounds nice. It does, yeah. But it's just the collagen. When you say collagen, yeah. I just think of lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, okay. That's don't you? Enough. But I don't like don't it. I don't like it gluten. Don't you? But not, if you're blind for like, oh, I suppose I you're still tasty. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a bush tucker trial. I don't no, win anything. No, the point I don't is you're eating your eyes. Well, anyway, today we're doing lovely chicken thighs. Chicken mm -hmm. thighs with the bone in, as you can see here. Now, yes. I'll brown these ones up. So there they are. Yeah. I eat the bones in because, a bit like a lamb hot pot, you get a certain amount of flavour from those, definitely. Now, once that's browned up, I will then talk about bits and pieces. Now, here, this is pearl barley. I love pearl barley. Now, um, years ago, it was added because if you didn't have much meat or couldn't afford meat, this would bulk it out and make mm. it go a bit further, mm -hmm. to give it more um, to it. Now, this is black pudding. Now, Yum. Now, certain types of black pudding are what I call set black pudding. This one is quite crumbly, as you can see. Mm. See the crumbly? Mm -hmm. Now, my mother didn't particularly like black pudding, but my father did, and she would use it as a seasoning. So rather than putting too much salt and pepper, mm. she would crumble it. My grandmother did. What a nice idea! Well. Good I, idea. I like that idea. Yeah, but not too much because it overpowers. Have it, you yeah. have you done it in this one? Uh, no, because this is chicken. Because I didn't think you'd oh. like it. We wouldn't go with chicken. Okay, really. no, fair is enough. Is that all right? Yeah. Now, in this pan here, we have a mixture of sweet onions yeah. and carrots. So I'm cooking down. Now you don't need to brown them. Mm -hmm. I think marginally it might give it a bit right. extra flavour. And then. Nothing else, no aromatics. You've got whatsoever. leeks as well in there. A bit of leek in there as well. Mm. And, and bacon. Now, again, this is not an option. I put it into a chicken dish, but I wouldn't put it into a lamb dish. Right. Actually, no, there's no need, because pretty much um, lamb is quite fatty anyway to start with, so you don't need that. So the bacon just goes on top. No need to brown it. You can if you want. And then I put the chicken thighs on top. Now, I have taken the skin off, mm. because sometimes, if you're not careful, you do get a layer of grease coming out of the chicken skin. Uh. And it can be... What's, just. A bit flabby. Well, you've also got to pick it off when you take the, yeah, like, the hot pot. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's not going to be crispy. No, it's not. And it can be, you know, not very nice. Now, is this, is this hot? No, it's fine. Bring it over here. Bring it over here. Now, potatoes. Now, if I'm doing a normal hot pot, mm -hmm. I would put thick pieces of raw potato with the skin on. Mm -hmm. Make sure you wash it properly. It can be gritty. But because this only takes 40 minutes to cook, as opposed to two hours for a normal hot pot, because right. you're stewing down a very, very tough piece of meat, I have blanched these first. So I blanch those for around about a minute, minute and a half, not till they break up. Sliced already? Yes. Right. So they're half cooked. So you see they do break slightly if you do that. Yeah. But I still want them to be able to um, keep their what shape. What sort of herbs and stuff have you put in? A bit of thyme here. Mm. Now, thyme, um, you can use fresh thyme if you like, dry thyme I have no problem with, like dried oregano. Nothing. Again, be careful because it's quite strong. Um, we will put some liquid on in a second. And I do use chicken stock cubes. Mm -hmm. You can use lamb stock cubes. My mum would just put water in because she doesn't like green by the stock cubes. Mm -hmm. I might be an old person thing. Mm -hmm. I can't say that much. Anyway, and sometimes, depending on the fattiness of the meat, I will add a little bit of uh, flour. To kind of absorb. Yes, and thicken so you get a gravy. I haven't done this one, only very, very marginally. So, potatoes go on, and then I just overlay the potatoes like this. Now, don't worry if it's quite proud like that, because as it cooks down, it will water sink in, down. It will sink down nicely. No. And you just need to make it look nice. Sometimes I use sweet potatoes. Sometimes I will also use... Um, uh, I hate to say it, but um, for my daughter, what do they call them? Um, hash browns, frozen hash browns. Oh, really? Oh, really? Chop them up and oh, all that top. sounds good. I know it does. And uh, my, my student daughter, <laughs> that's her idea, not mine. Anyway, but for 99 pence, wherever it is, you can get away with it quite well, and it, it is quite nice. Now, that does look lovely. Yeah, and, and don't be frightened of the potatoes. And any bits of stuff you've got left in the pan there, so I've got a little bit of just uh, juices, juices from the, the chicken. I'll pull that on as well. Mm. And then you just add enough water with your stock cube, if you want to, it's up to you. Roughly halfway up the chicken. Because bear in mind, there's a lot of moisture in there. Mm -hmm. Chicken stock cubes you can if you want, that's fine. Right. So, let's have a look, shall we? Now, 45 minutes later... There you go. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Got your spoons? <laughs> there you go. Now, <laughs> Come on. Let me just break... I want to just break this apart, you can see. Oh, that looks so yummy. So, look at that. So, the carrots and the potatoes are all cooked down. You get a lovely juice on there. And, I just and it's love just, I mean, that's everything potatoes. in one pot, isn't it? It is. That's your whole dinner. Look at that, look at that. I'm getting that. involved. And it doesn't need to be over-thickened, that's the whole point. 
Certainly deep bowl. But, and, but you mustn't, mustn't overcook. But all that, and it is one pot cooking. I've done three or four pots here, but essentially you can do it all in one pot. Could you do it in a slow cooker? Okay. You can indeed, and it takes about seven hours on low set. Mm -hmm. You can also do this, freeze it, defrost it, and it'll be exactly the same. It's really just delicious, gorgeous, and it's Bill. just what we want oh. on a rainy day like today. Thank you. Thank My you. pleasure. Thank you.